Hey there, everybody. Fett here, and welcome back to Fett Plays Going Medieval. We still got clay bricks to make. Yes, we do. We still got clay bricks. How about you? We also need to mine out some more limestone so we can get our wall done. And, well, there's limestone over here. This is probably where I'm going to want the wall, too, but that's fine. You know, let's do some digging. There you go. Make a little pit. Merchants leaving. That's all right. That's all right. Day six of autumn. Autumn. We're doing okay, I think. I feel like Bale needs a shield, especially since he has a short sword. Why do you have a? Sh Why does he have a short sword but no shield? We also have a couple more archery options, which would probably be a good idea to switch to, if we have anyone else who's good at marksmanship. So not Sybil. Very much not Sybil. Gerard's actually pretty good at marksmanship. Hmm. Dale is a marksman. Uh, definitely not Bale. He's also not that great at melee, to be honest. Parrish is alright. Vasilla's our top marks person. So, Sybil actually does like marksmanship, but Gerard's just better at it. Is Sybil better at melee than Gerard? No. Bale? No, he, that's right, he's not good at much. Um, <laughs> Frick. I don't know, there's not a good way to train marksmanship either. Nah, no, we're starting to put books in here. Which means we're running out of space to put books in here. Library's getting a little full. Actually, that's not entirely true. What's the priority of this? Low? Well, these should be higher priority for books. Yeah. Copy this. That's true for all book- All the bookshelves should be holding books. I know this might be a weird idea. But if you're hauling, please prioritize putting the bookshelves, or the books, in the bookshelves. And now you're just resorting the books. Great. <laughs> okay. There you go. Go ahead and do that. Thank you, Vasilla. Perfect. Alright, still got a lot of, a lot of road to build. You know, I kind of want to have a gate over here. So I'm going to see if I could do something like that. I just got to figure out how to do it. Uh, apparently these Merlons can float. Whoops. I mean, as long as their stability isn't zero. Right? When set on the ground, a structure has a stability of four. Each structure attached to it will have a minus one. Yeah. If it's zero, then you can't attach something. And this is at stability two. So apparently you could go out two more than this. Wild. Uh, but I have a better idea. Because you can build roads on these things. Actually, no. If I do that, no, I'll probably still have to... Yeah, I have to deconstruct those to get the road to go over it. Okay, that's fine. No, no, no. We, we can figure this out. We're smart lads, in theory, right? E Limestone. Nice. You know, that means we got more blocks coming. Oh, we actually are sitting on uh, 282 blocks already. All right, well, when the next day starts, let's go ahead and start building some stuff then. Love to get us another... Like, another front. And maybe we'll be over here. Like, right past the limestone, I'm thinking. Although there is iron right past that. But still, I gotta, I gotta draw the... I gotta draw the tower somewhere, you know? All right, come over here and deconstruct this. And let me do my thing. Let, let me do what we can do. Okay, here comes Parrish. He's going to do it. Cool. So, what I'm thinking is... We do... This. Oh, that one's too far away. That's fine. Because if we do that... Then on the other side... The wall can continue. Please understand. Yeah, and then we could put a gate here. And by a gate, I mean a door. And by a door, I mean a grated door. We need iron for grated doors. We don't... And we have iron over there we can make, but... 
No, no, no. Use, use your research. Don't we have defensive structures? We don't. We need a little bit more books. Okay. We need six more books for this. This is fine. We got the proof of concept. That's what's important. Alright. And then we can put the Merlons, of course. Right here, here, and here. And here. Cool! I think that'll still work. I, you can still put a door there, right? Oh, yeah, you can. Cool. Alright, then. Well, in that case, while we're waiting, let's go ahead and at least get something of a wall started. Let's see. We'll come out to here. And then what does this lead to? Right there at the end of the limestone? You know what? I like that. I like that. Yeah, right here. This still gives us plenty of space on the end, too. And look at that. It puts most of the limestone inside. Which is what I would like. Just knock these down. And then... And then we build over it. And we just keep it going. Okay, so if we're going to do that... Let's take a look at doing another tower. While we're here. So, obviously, it's going to wrap around... This way. Okay, do it like that. And then for the actual tower portion... We need... Basically a... 5 by 4, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... No, it's 5 by 5. Hadley. So... Like that. Yeah. And then the stairs come off of it, right? That's a 4. No, wait, but the... No, that's one, two, the Merlon makes three, and two Merlons over there. That's five. Yeah. Give me limestone block stairs going to it right here. And there you go. We'll have two towers. They're small towers, but they check out. Eventually, we could make them bigger if we wanted to. We have the technology. The know-how I'm not entirely sure of, but we have the technology, damn it. I mean, the know-how, yeah, you just build a build a higher tower. But you would need it to be, like, at least this big to do that. And then you would need stairs going up to it. So, actually, you would probably put it in the corner. I mean, you'd probably replace this. Ah, uh, maybe we'll proof of concept it after we're done with this section. It's kind of what I'm thinking right now. You know, right now we need to get the walls done. Blocks are under manufactured, right? Yeah, 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 We got plenty of limestone bricks right now. So, in fact, you know, give us a couple more days. We might be able to get this whole thing done. Just about. This part's going to be the hardest, so I probably shouldn't have put the order for it in yet. But I mean, we're, we're doing, we're making some progress over here. Dale's gonna go get a snack, apparently. Okay, we have defensive structures. We can build reinforced doors now. So I'm thinking that's what we use here. Oh, they also, it also cost iron. Why am I not surprised? I should not have been surprised. So, and we can build traps. Neat. Those cost components. And I also don't know how good they are, so I don't know if they're worth the components. I guess we're going to need to dig out some iron. Here. That's chopping. That. There you go. Dig out. Those are 80 nuggets each. That should be more than enough to build those, so. Yeah, just three of them. That's all we need. These guys are efficient as hell, aren't they? When they want to be, at least. And I should put blocks up here as well. Like, this this road segment, I should put these up here too, because they will make traveling up here faster. Uh, this Tusau Pass. An ailing traveler shuffled haltingly in the Ragamuffin Village. Given time to recuperate, they claim they could work, but they look pretty rough. Will they be permitted to join and convalesce? I mean, I guess. 
Why not? Dude is 50. Hendrick. Will not, he's not good at construction, but he can mine, and that's actually something we could use right now. So you know what? Come on in. How? Wow, you are hurt. What's wrong with him? We don't know. He's just hurt. He has no, like, actual injuries. What does that mean? He has, like, 200 bruises or something? Instead? Um. Yeah, for now. Give me another hay sleeping spot over here. Okay, temporary housing. Eventually we can do better. At least in theory. Uh, Alright, Parrish. Nice teleporting you did there. I love it. I love it a lot. Okay. We built up as much of the wall as we can for now. Which is actually a good amount, to be honest with you. Yeah, 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 just a, you know, it's a little basic to start with. I understand, I understand. But you gotta start somewhere. Apparently this room can count as a shared bedroom, even with the cartography table. Okay. Not complaining. Priscilla and Parrish decided it's iron time! Uh oh mangled it. That's not good. Hendrick, buddy, you can go to bed if you want. I get that you like the idea of, of doing this, but pretty sure the schedule, yeah, anything would include sleep if you wanna. Or convalescing if you prefer. 15 research already, holy cow. Alright, we have iron. Yes, we do. We got iron. How about you? Let me tell you, we're doing okay. And we got more limestone, apparently. You can tell because everything turned blue. The color of building. Unlike orange, which is the color of no progress, I guess, is what they're trying to tell me. Look, I don't know, man. Alright. Apparently Gerard and Parrish decided to sleep in here. You know, you don't have assigned bedrooms. So, you just sleep wherever you want. Which isn't necessarily a big complaint or a problem. Uh, it's cold. Apparently, it's a negative three in some of these places. Although, it's plenty fine in here, because you got torches. Yeah. So I guess you guys need torches, huh? Let's do it. Luckily, you can put torches on the wall. Makes it a lot easier. Uh, turn around. Right there, yeah. Next to the beds. There you go. And you can read by candlelight. So that'll be nice. All right. Couple more segments getting done. I love it. Okay, so once these segments are done, about 40% of our village is covered, give or take. That's not awful. That is definitely not awful. And we're still getting limestone. Alright, there's still these two pieces over here that get have to get done. Uh, and Sybil's making iron! Nice, once that's done, we can actually put in... I'm gonna put in the order now. Reinforced door. Uh... I guess... Open this way? Yeah. And then there's a spot here. You know what? Let's put a graded door here. There you go. That way you can still see who's coming through. And maybe, I think you could shoot through it too. At least I would imagine you can. Maybe you can. I don't know. Maybe the game's not that... ...that savvy, but... ...it feels like it could be. Okay, so with that side... ...started... Let's not let us be too idle. Let's go ahead and get this side started as well. Oh, did I not make that? Okay. Once again, I have missized my stuff. Okay. It's fine. Bring it on over. So, how far do we need to go? I don't know yet. 
how far we need to go. But we're getting there. That's what's important, in theory. But yeah, this, this gives us a proper entrance. Which is nice! In theory. We really use this spot and this spot mined out. Next time someone feels like uh, mining or digging. Merchant caravan. I have so much to offer you good people. The mercer cried out. Let's make a deal. Alright, well, come on in. We'll see if there's a deal to be had. Hey, uh, Gerard, can you concentrate here? Thanks. I just want those spots done. I'm gonna dig them... I'm gonna fill them back in eventually, too, but... They're gonna take a while. Alright, hey, there's a lot of wabbits over there. You can eat a lot of wabbits. Very cool, very cool. Okay, how much limestone do we have right now? We have an auto saves worth. Uh, we have none. But we also have 23. Okay, so we do need to mine more. Gotcha. Picking up what you're putting down. Hello, traders. Looking forward to seeing you stock today. Hope y'all having ourselves a good time. Did the lights go get done? They did. Okay, good. So, yeah, now it's... 11 to 12 degrees. Oh, it's also 10 degrees outside. Just extra cold for that one day. Apparently. Cool. Nice 4.7. Underground, though. So that's making us happy, I'm sure. There you go. First door segment's done. And then two to go. See a little bit more iron. Then we're going to be living the good life right there. In theory. Hey, uh, Parrish, what, what are you doing? Constructing? Understandable. Go talk to Bieldrick. Real quick. Just to see if they have anything worth trading. Hello, Bieldrick. What you got? You got Chronicles. We don't need them. Herbs. We could probably use some herbs. Leather. Linen. We have a lot of that. Smoked meat. We got some of that, too. Coal, iron, wood. I mean... Nah, we shouldn't trade for iron nuggets. They do have mechanical components, which we don't have a lot of. We could sell them dead rabbits. They also have some food. Oh, they have they have actual materials. They have bricks. Okay. So, what if I wanted all of their... No. It's 400 bucks. Um, They have buildings? Metal traps, wooden torches, theses, thesi, yeah, and textbooks. So they actually have, oh, and they have healing kits too. Wow. Okay. Well, first take our weapons. You're willing to buy them. So take the weapons we don't need. Beeldrick. And see how much money we can make from selling this stuff first. Flimsy leather winter clothes. Yeah, they're damaged. It's fine. This is sturdy though. Almost tempted to keep that. Okay. So now we're at 150 gold. Gotcha. Oh. Superior pig face helmet. Yo, 42 armor rating. Oh, you know what? We could actually use a different... We could use a shield. A flawless longbow? Yeah, I'm tempted for a lot of this stuff. I'm meant to fight the temptation. It's not going to be easy. Um, on the other hand, we do have gold. <laughs> we could just sell them some gold. You know, like, take a hundred... Uh, take... Uh... There we go. 70 gold. Now we're at 227. This is good, I think. They don't want bones, they don't want ash. I mean, that literally is considered garbage, so I don't blame them. How about... 149 leather. Buy all of their herbs. You know what? 249 leather. And then... 108 linen. I think we're doing okay. We're gonna keep our wood. We're gonna keep our hay for now. Although we don't have that many uses for it, I suppose. Too bad we don't have gold ingots. Oh, they got steel! What? 
Okay. We're at minus 600. Get me a good shield. Give me the kite shield. I want that. That's going to go to Gerard, probably. And then get me this longbow. Masterwork bow? Uh, oh, it has the same range. Give me the masterwork bow. All right. Yeah, I know we're giving them stuff. It's fine. Okay. Gerard, come over here. Equip this shield. Vasilla, come over here. Equip this much better bow. Someone carrying the herbs of it at some point. Okay. Gerard's on his way. Okay, he's got the better shield. Bale, pick up Gerard's old shield. That's yours now. Okay. There's Vasilla with her new bow. Sturdy longbow can go to Dale. And then his bow... Yeah, I might give that to Parrish, actually. Yeah. Hand-me-downs, but still. Wait. Oh, Hendrick, what, what are you good at? Melee? Actually, you're okay at marksmanship, too, but let's go with melee for you. Hey, like I said, hand-me-downs all the way. We got a new archer, though. That's what's important. That's actually... That might actually be huge. In the long run, at least. Alright. We do need to go ahead and dig out enough space to put some stairs down here, because, you know, you can see there's some limestone piles down here that need to be grabbed. So, that's a, something we gotta do. Dude, these freaking blocks are so strong! <laughs> you need to dig at them four times to get rid of the space! Holy they! Alright, you got clay bricks sitting around. Oh, baby. The wall's going up. It's going up pretty well. Keep it coming, lads. How's this? Uh, still need more... more iron. Hey, Sybil. Do me a favor. Get the furnace going. Thank you. Church of the Third Coming is leaving. They really gave us some good stuff, man. They like us? They do, that's why. That's why they were able to tr or willing to trade weapons and armor. That was good. I probably should have bought more armor. But... I didn't. <laughs> so, a little late for that. A little late for could'ves and should'ves. Boom. Okay, thank you. 680 skill or experience points for that. Alright. More importantly, that'll work throughout the night, even with the rain, and when it's done, we'll be able to build, finish building that wall. Gerard's like, give me a minute, man, I gotta get this done. Alright. Yeah, having three archers makes me feel way safer. I'm gonna want to get the Merlons over here up soon, too. But probably when this wall segment's done, we'll switch to the Merlons. Little bit more defensive in this corner. And, you know, if we followed this, we could make another entrance down this way. That way we could have one at both ends. We have so much coal, by the way. Can you choose... Bale turned 47 today. Happy birthday. Uh... Can you choose what you use as fuel? You can. Okay. Let's only use coal. Yeah, for both of these. Let's try to only use coal for uh, for this. Because I'm willing to bet it's more efficient. Than clay or stick. Than clay. Oh. No, no, no. no that's, I did the wrong thing there. No construction material. Yeah, you can use clay and sticks. But don't use wood. There you go. But you can use clay. <laughs> it's going to be hard to make clay bricks if you don't. Everything else is fine. That... <sighs> I see. It's the different ways that they're sorting it. Makes it seem a little confusing. Okay, good. 
Iron ingots. Let's go. I mean, we have 300 coal. We can afford to use that for these. Can you do that over here, too? Yeah. No, I guess you could do wood. Nah, concentrate on coal. I won't worry about some of these other things for now. Like, this doesn't even take fuel, technically. Which is fine. Wall done? Not quite, not quite. People got things to do, places to be. Got this one tree that's just sitting here doing nothing for us. Alright, so I'm also thinking this space here might end up being our new, like, farm area once we're all done. Because we're going to need another one. It needs to be bigger than this. We could also do it somewhere out here, but I I'm kind of liking this area, even though there's some rocky soil, which isn't great. Just because it's not great doesn't mean we can't use it, though, you know? Okay. Wall segments are almost done. Door's done. Look at that. All right. I'm almost tempted to put another one of those there. In fact, I think that is what I should do. That's looking a little weird. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to do a third reinforced door. They're stronger anyway. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Gerard. Okay. Knocked out. Build it up. We might have enough for it. You think the deconstruction would give us enough back for it, but you never know for sure. Until you've given it a shot, I suppose. Hey, Sybil, when you get a chance, go ahead and prioritize the un resources unable to deliver. What? What can't we deliver? We got iron. You're just waiting for the iron and the fuel, but I mean, we got both of those. What are we unable to deliver? Okay, now you can work on it. That was weird. There we go. Yeah, get that going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I almost got this all dug up. It's going to cost a lot more to get the double wall up eventually, but it's going to be worth it. Probably. Uh, one potential area I see over here, I mean, if I extend this down far enough, I could still, like, you know, go around the entire limestone pit. But then if I went over here, I'd have to, like, build up some area here, which I guess isn't a problem in and of itself. It's definitely doable. This might not be ideal. It's fine, though. Probably. Yeah, it's probably fine. We're actually building up a good, uh, good stockpile of limestone at this point. Why isn't this done? Because someone needs to come over here and take care of a plant under it? Uh, Parrish, you're tailoring? You need to clear area first. Will someone clear the area? It... Hold up. There's a shrub there. That's what it's saying. I need... I need someone to take care of the shrub. Cut this. There. Alright, now someone can build the wall. There you go. I mean... You can still see the wooden frame, but that's not that bad. There you go. It looks okay from this side. So it'll work. Merlons. Let's get them done. Okay. Corner one, of course. Right here. And then... Bring it all down. Okay. And va-voom. When that's done... Our archer nest... Our next archer nest will be done as well. As will the wall from this side, completely. Does it cost more limestone to make floor? It does not. This is good. Because, we're like I said, we're going to want to put limestone flooring down this way and cover that area with it. Because it'll make things faster. It will literally make people walk faster over here. So it's worth doing. Okay, Merlons. Uh, 
We just did the corner over here. Okay. So this can still be a block. And then... Yeah, just the three spots. These can be block. Okay. Works for me. Can I, uh... Select the Merlon that we're building? No? Okay. It's fine. <gasps> be that way. Alright, I don't think I made these the right... Or the same size, but that's okay. Oh, yeah. I, we did. Oh, I know what's different. I built these... I built this... Differently. Okay, this is fine. Yeah. Because I need... I'm going to have two spaces here. Apparently, I made more walkway down here on the sides. It's perfectly fine. It's okay. I, I goofed it, okay? I get it. I made a mistake. Finish that pit, guys. I know some of you know how to mine. Get the little wood over here holding up the... You basically, we basically nailed the Merlons into the doors, or vice versa. Probably vice versa. That makes more sense. Hmm. Look at that. Look at that wall. Don't you feel safe? Hey, is that an herb? That is an herb. Harvest that herb. Doesn't that just make you feel safer? A lone traveler. Take a look if you like. Okay, come on in. Ah, sp well, Spoot. It looks like that's going to be it for this episode of That Plays Going Medieval. If you enjoyed it, if you enjoyed it, I hope you do. And if you did, make sure to give it a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more. Because it'll keep coming until it's over. And it'll probably, you know, it'll be over in a little while. But I want to enjoy the journey while we can. Going to make it through our first year at this rate, I think. Thanks again for watching Going Medieval. My name is Thet, and I'll see you in the next video, everybody-o.